Hey, my fellow boat outboard motorers that wish they had a tachometer on their outboard motor. Two stroke or four stroke, two cylinder, one four cylinder, one single cylinder, two stroke, four stroke. Anyway, they've got a little button here. This is S1 button. You can hold that down and select uh, the number of cylinders and the two stroke or four stroke. Pretty fancy. However, and the back is not waterproof, and this is a boat, so you want to put some silicone around the, the edges of that little back panel plate that pops off and you can get to the battery on this one so that's a cool thing uh, you can replace the battery there those little flat uh, I don't know what the technology is for the battery but anyway you can change it when it goes bad so I'm just so my epoxy I mean my silicone is about dry so I'm dropping this down in here but I'm keeping this inside of here because I, I don't I'm not gonna let it dangle outside but all you have to do is wrap your this little induction wire right here around your spark plug uh, four to six to ten times depending on how strong or weak and this supposedly they say if it's not reading the RPMs if it's too low wrap it more times like if it's too low and you've got four wraps go six or eight or ten if it's too fast then go from ten down to six or four something like that but anyway i just put some little packing tape around it to hold it on you can put some tie wraps around that and hold it on your uh i put on my number one spark plug i don't know if it matters because this sparks the same number of times this does uh and then you're done you just wrap this around here make it make it stay on there and then uh that guy set it to the right number of cylinders and uh two stroke four stroke that's it that's all there is uh to it if it's reading double the rpms then your two stroke four strokes one cylinder two cylinder three or four cylinder six cylinder setting is off but again the instructions that come with this are excellent I mean, really nice to think like, more information than you would really want to know. So that's it. That's all you got to do. So anyway, I've got it all uh, getting ready to button it up because I got to take this off. We're separating the boat, getting ready to put the trimaran in the ocean. Not this minute, but tomorrow, next day, something like that. So anyway, but I wanted a tachometer on this. I've got a tachometer on my 15 horsepower and I got a tachometer on my... Uh, four-stroke single cylinder engine there and it's reading the correct rpm the that one's reading the correct rpm and this one is they have little like blue and red and black ones that don't have any buttons on them they're preset for some single cylinder four stroke or something like that so you'll get a double reading or a half reading if you buy that style but buy this style and then waterproof silicone the back of it not epoxy or anything that you got to break stuff this silicone just peel off it when it's time to replace the battery silicone that back wrap your thing you're good to go that's it that's it that's all there is to it and it counts your engine hours your engine running hours too it'll tell on there since you installed it so anyway we're good to go and i'm gonna put the cover on this is my cover that i painted it was ugly like that and i got a decal shop to make some decals and painted it a nice uh, silver and i used the special paint that it's gasoline resistant samurai brand is the brand you use samurai like this japanese samurai warrior is samurai brand that's the only paint that'll work this bit gasoline resistant all the others don't do it buy the samurai any gasoline resistant brand you can get so anyway I put the cover on starting to rain see little raindrops paradise oh